talk about the advantages of ETFs in general, the advantages of bond ETFs are just magnified. And that's because the individual bonds were not designed for individual investors like you and I. They really were designed for the biggest investors in the world. If you want to trade individual bonds, you need to have an account at a bond dealer. They don't trade on an exchange like stocks. Bond ETFs trade on an exchange. So you have transparency and tradability. The other big difference is your ability to build a portfolio. So if you are trading individual bonds, it is going to take a lot of money to build a diversified portfolio that might include global bonds, Canadian bonds, US bonds. But if you have ETFs, you can build a portfolio of global Canadian bonds, US bonds, of short-term bonds, mid-term, long-term bonds, of government bonds, corporate bonds, you name it, with three to four ETFs. It's scalable and it's easy to do. Bonds by their nature, because they are less volatile than stocks, they trade generally in the opposite direction to stocks, are critical to have in a portfolio. The ETF wrapper around those bonds allows you to take that security and build a diversified portfolio. So you now have the choice at BMO, for example, of buying a short-term bond, a mid-term bond, a long-term bond, and your choice will depend on your views of interest rates. Or you can buy a government bond or a bond that's issued by a corporation. You can buy Canadian bonds or U.S. bonds. So you can build a diversified portfolio that, that meets your specific return objectives and importantly risk tolerances uh, much better with ETFs than you could with individual bonds. If you have a particular view that the economy is going to improve, then maybe you want to get exposure to corporate bonds or even high yield bonds. And you can do that through our suite of bond ETFs. Yeah, so the, the question about how much does an ETF cost comes down to, first and foremost, it's bid and offer spread. So the, the bid and offer spread is the difference between what an investor is willing to sell you that security versus what they're willing to buy that security for. And that difference is in effect the cost of trading that security. In the world of ETFs, what we find is oftentimes the underlying securities like corporate bonds or preferred shares have bid and offer spreads that are wider than the ETFs themselves. So the, by buying and selling the ETF, the individual investor is in effect cutting the cost of trading that security.